So, $50,000 a month running multiple dropshipping stores and an agency. This is a day in the life of what it's like to run this business. Okay, so welcome to the beginning of the video. That was just like a small introduction there. Um, quickly, what we're going to be doing today is we've got usually what we do is in the morning, look at our notebook, usually take notes of all the things that we kind of need to achieve and do um, in terms of like a month long perspective, a month long goal. And then we try and like chop that up into smaller segments of like how we can achieve that within a week, uh, two weeks, three weeks, and four weeks until we kind of hopefully reach that goal by the end of the month. So if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button. It really supports us. It really helps the video and the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to go down and click subscribe and turn on notifications to see any more videos like this. Now, it's got to the point in our business where even though, you know, high revenue, high um, number of sales, lots of orders, all of that kind of stuff, we've got to the point where everything's pretty much systemized and automated. So we don't actually each day have to work too much um, like on managing the business. Um, most of our work throughout the month kind of focuses on what we can do to grow and excel and reach our new goals and, and kind of continue growth uh, within the business. So whether or not that's just scaling uh, a store that we're running at the moment or adding in new stores or taking on new clients or whatever the case may be, like this time we're starting a YouTube channel. So that's usually what we do throughout a month. We set ourselves a 30 day goal um, and then by the end of the 30 days, hopefully we've achieved that by splitting that up into a four week period. We want to start a new store and we want to start testing more than one store um, every single month. So we want to get up to kind of slowly bringing in new stores and new products and stuff that we can start testing to start diversifying our dropshipping stores. So what I'm going to try and do is within this video explain all of that voiceovers, try and make it a little bit more interesting. Obviously this is going to be a spread over a few days. This isn't going to be like a day in the life as such. We're going to put a few days condense it into about 10-15 minutes and hopefully you guys can get a bit of an idea on the back end of what we do to go ahead and grow and scale our business over the course of the next week. What are we doing today, Matthew? Um, well, the plan is to film the day in the life of running a $50,000 a month business. Obviously, next month we're planning on scaling to $70,000, $80,000. Yeah, hopefully um, 80. Yeah, so at the moment, like, this is what we've done, 5th of June to 5th of July. So, pretty slow scaling, nothing major has happened there. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. I think first things first, go make some coffee. Sounds good. So first thing in the morning we have a little bit of a sit down, a small chat about what we need to do for the day to make sure we're on track and on target to reach our monthly goals. This is then usually followed by about half an hour of me doing customer service, emails and the Facebook page messages, um, shortly followed by a little bit of a strategy of us going through what happened for the day yesterday on the ads and on the Shopify store. Okay. Another shameless plug, don't forget to go down and click the like button, comment any video ideas you have for f uh, future videos, and also click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Meeting time. We need to also talk about how we can increase our customer, like returning customer rate, make sure that goes up. Yeah, so this is one thing I want to talk about because obviously for people out there who are wondering what it's like running a $50,000 a month business that you're scaling, they are, you know, there's an element of what do you have to do to increase the number, and that's basically just spend more on ads. Um, but there are systems you need to have in place to make sure that works. So you can't just be like, I'll oh, whack up, you know, another five hundred dollars in ad spend today without having the systems in place because immediately you'll get charged back and stuff and people getting disappointed. Yeah. So like one thing for example um, is really important for us is as we're scaling, each minor tweak that we make to the website um, and increasing our order value or returning customer rate, customer feedback, happiness, all that kind of stuff really really starts compounding and adding up. So just put this in perspective, so for the past four days, so the first four days of July, our returning customer rate was about 14%, which is pretty decent. For the four days prior to that um, was only 9%. I think we need to really focus, double down on customer satisfaction, returning customer rate and making the most of the traffic we're getting at the moment. Um, 
because obviously the more you increase your ad spend, the smaller your margins are going to get. So we need to work on our AOV, we need to work on our profit margins, um, which is why, so this morning we've worked on, um, we've installed Zipify, one pick up sales. Um, don't know why we didn't install it before. Basically that just means someone comes through, they then buy and then they get offered a discount of the product at 30% off. In this case, they click the button, add it to their order and they immediately get charged. Um, so the idea from that is we will get our returning customer rate up from, I think this month is averaged at 7% in the month of June. I want to get that to 20%. Um, that's going to really boost our AAV probably by like five, ten dollars At the moment we're sitting at $60 AAV. If we can start making an extra three, four, five dollars profit per customer, um, we're going to be making a lot more money and we don't need to scale as hard on ads. We can make money back end with the traffic we get from the moment. So there's a handful of things that we've been working on recently, that is posting Upwork listings, we have to employ a VA team, um, we are trying to employ video editors, we're trying to employ different editors and things to expand the business, take some pressure off us uh, so we can focus on doing some more profit driven activities. One of the things we are doing at the moment is increasing the revenue, we are generating increasing the profits and that's done mostly through creating more stores and collecting more clients. So at the moment we're doing lots of product research, identifying trends using things like Google Trends, AliExpress, finding different stores that are selling the products and identifying the exact market and strategies we need to use if we were to go down the path of testing that product. Okay, so I wanted to take this opportunity now at the end of the video just to kind of break down the ad strategy, what we do, and give you an idea of you know how we scale and show you the ads manager. Now we're not going to show you the interests of the product um, for obvious reasons, but we are going to show you how we run the ads. And now there's no right way or wrong way to do this. It's really just a matter of personal preference and what sort of strategy you develop yourself. Uh, obviously, if you're a beginner, I recommend you follow our, our strategy or just at least one strategy and stick to that strategy. So what we do is we will have the product, we'll build the website, we'll build up everything to make sure the AOV is good right from the offset, so that's upsells and all those sorts of things. And then we will identify five interests that we think will work. Now, we don't put much work into finding the interests, we pretty much just test the first five that come to mind. It doesn't really matter too much, you're not going to be able to tell the winning interests just from doing your own research. We build five ad sets at $10 a day, um, and that is just one interest per ad set. Now in each ad set, we will be targeting male and female, we'll be targeting all age ranges and automatic placements. The reason for this is we just want Facebook to do the work in finding the buyers. We don't want to narrow it down too much at the start because you will find actually that you will kind of have an even balance on both male and female if your product's sort of fairly mid-tier and there's no point narrowing it down at the start. From there, we will have on the ad level, so we will have one ad set, for example, at $10 a day, and in that ad set, we'll have two ads. Now, we tend to run one photo and one video. The reason for running the video, in our opinion, and our experience, is literally just to gather data for video view look like. So from there, we will let the ads run for about three days, or up to our break-even CPA, that's cost per acquisition or cost per purchase, um, and then we will decide if it's a winning product. If it is a winning product, we then move into our sort of second phase of scaling, and that is adding or cycling in more interest at $10 a day until we build up a bank of about 20 different interests. And then what we will do is we'll decide, okay, these are our top five performing interests. That's if they've made five, 10 sort of purchases or above, we've got good ROASs, good CPAs, um, and we think they're gonna be like, you know, the winners. We then take those and we put them into a CBO. Now we use CBOs just for scaling. Um, and we only use CBOs when we think the pixel has got enough data and enough momentum. That's if we're doing 20 plus purchases per day or 15 plus purchases per day and over 200 purchases on the pixel. Then all we do, cycle those into the CBO with the same ads um, and we just let that run. And then from there, it's just rinse and repeat, keep cycling in new ones checking out the columns and the data and just deciding when to kill things, when to keep things running and making sure everything has enough time to optimize before you kill it uh, prematurely. And that's basically it. There's a lot of data reading and data analysis, which we will break down in another video. Um, if you have got any ideas of videos you want to see, just comment them down below um, and we will probably do those. We've got a case study coming up where we're taking a store to doing about 150 pounds profit a day. So that will be coming out soon and that I'll be breaking down the ad strategies more. But that hopefully gives you an idea of you know what it looks like behind you know, one of these ads managers, uh, one of these stores, and hopefully it kind of teaches you something as well. So if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more stuff like this, we will be posting hopefully once a week, twice a week, 
um, and trying to build this audience up. It's kind of going to be a community. We're going to be trying to teach you some things and kind of open the doors on how all of this stuff works. So if you are interested, like this video. It really helps us. It supports us. It helps boost it on the algorithm so more people will see it. And also, if you can subscribe and press the bell for notifications, you'll see when we bring out a new video. So yeah, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.